Now, while the August 10th derecho meant a lot of profit for dozens of tree trimming businesses, it also meant a great deal of danger while clearing away those debris from the trees. Iowa City reporter for KWWL, that's Travis Breeze. Of course, Travis talked with one man who's hospitalized after a disastrous accident, which happened just last month. Ron Chaz Youngblood was an out-of-state worker who came to Cedar Rapids the day after the derecho. The work kept him busy for months, but now he's lying in a hospital bed and perhaps worst of all, separated from his family. As soon as the log ended up coming off me, I remember them picking me up and uh, started carrying me to the ambulance. Chaz Youngblood was taking down a derecho damaged tree on December 11th. As it came apart, it twisted in a way he wasn't expecting, and he got pinned under a section weighing thousands of pounds. I was in there praying. You know, I didn't know really how bad it, my injury was. All I know is that the tree was on top of me. He's now being treated at University of Iowa Healthcare. His legs are healing quickly, but he has pins and a special X-fit connecting his pelvis. His next step should be physical therapy, but he's struggling to find a home housing situation right now for me until I can get my exfit off is kind of, you know, the struggle of what I've been dealing with. With insurance not paying for his therapy, his family is fundraising to bring him home. As difficult as it is, he's trying to be positive through it all. I'm always smiling, in a good mood, have nurses laughing, cracking jokes with them, and, you know, I just the type of person I am. Youngblood says he was trapped under that log for about 25 minutes until first responders could get it off of him using airbags. Uh, he still cannot put any weight on his legs, but he is now able to get in and out of a wheelchair. Reporting live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. Uh, Travis, thanks for the update here tonight. Chaz had been living in central Minnesota before coming to Iowa for the derecho cleanup back in August, but his mother, his family really lives in Oregon, and that's where they would like to transport him so he can continue his recovery with his family.